Good morning, everyone. I'm back. I spent the day yesterday uh, hacking up the rear section and Frankensteining it onto uh, the C8. And the intent was to get a good surface finish so that I don't have to spend so many hours uh, sanding and uh, to get everything right. So let me show you what I've got. You have to ignore the wind. It's a little breezy this morning, but again, good for keeping the temperature reasonable or feeling reasonable. So I took the rear end section that I had previously made in the mold, uh, put it on the back, it wouldn't fit. Uh, so I ended up hacking it up a bit to make it fit. Uh, but the end result is looking good. So now I have a skin over the foam work that I did previously. I ended up having to cut out quite a bit of foam uh, because I hadn't finished cut the foam but it's going to save me a lot of work. You can see the body line uh, lines up really well. So now all I have to do is uh, mold everything in. Uh, it still needs a lot of uh, changes to meet the changes that I made on the other side, but like I said, it's going to save me a lot of work. Let me go over here so that you can see what still will need to be done. So obviously I'll still need to do the vents and then the uh, wheel opening, but a big chunk of that work was just done by grafting that uh, piece on there. So that's what I'm going to work on today is, uh, what I'm going to do is make templates off of this side and then from those templates, I'm actually going to make them so that I can screw the other side to those templates. I'll flip the templates 180, uh, screw that other side to it so that I know that since I have the panel, I just need to get the panel aligned correctly. So I'll do that by using the templates. I will reference the templates off of this edge right here because that is a factory edge. And then um, I'm trying to figure out what to reference off the bottom. Not sure there. Uh, I could, I'm going to swap the wheel and tire for the correct one, which is this one for now. Uh, on the other side, this tire wheel and tire is the factory one, which is two inches narrower uh, than the ones that are going on it. So that'll move that out. Um, I think it moves it out the full two inches or at least an inch. I'm not sure which, but that'll allow me to uh, locate that panel in and out. And then, like I said, the top edge will be located uh, off of the seam uh, between the trunk and the uh, rear hatch opening area. And um, the back area, one of the reasons we did such extensive work is that we replaced uh, or actually added the C8 vents into the corner. And that required a lot of modifications of the shape. You can see the previous shape was pretty much a very slight curve across the back. And this is a much more dramatic curve to match the curve of the C8. And it made it to where the two blended together. Otherwise, I was going to have a step in between the uh, C2 body. It was gonna step in and meet with the ore. Uh, and meet with the C8 body, but that got nixed and we changed it to this. The other thing is I wanna add the uh, fourth tail light opening hole. So cutting that up, I was going to have to make these pieces anyway. Um, at least one of these. Now I have spares uh, because there are six of them came with this. But what I'm going to do is make this more like the Grand Sport. The Grand Sport has four uh, openings on each side or depressions. Uh, four of them are tail lights, the outside four. Uh, the two inner four are vents. And then it has four holes drilled in this area right here. So I can now do that. And this is also going to fill in that area for the uh, license plate that I was debating what to do. So because I'm making this look like a Grand Sport, uh, these are some changes that are kind of going the other way from where I was going, but it's going to end up uh, going towards the Grand Sport design. 
I do need to call the vendor and make sure they're going to have my Grand Sport parts ready uh, for the Street Ride Nationals. I'm not going to put those parts on this car. What I'm planning on doing is having this car done in the way it is now and then having a separate display that says, hey, here's the Grand Sport parts if you want them. And again, I could go back and fill in those holes uh, if people don't want the Grand Sport look in the back. It's completely up to them, but I personally think the Grand Sport's kind of cool. All right, that's the update for today. I've got a lot of work to do. Um, like, subscribe, hit the alert, hit the thanks if you want to donate. And if you can't figure out what I'm doing, you don't know Jack. Bye. Oh, happy 4th of July.